So I'm now with Spurs fan Adrian, Tottenham nil, Liverpool won. Adrian, how are you feeling about that result? Well, I'm not gutted. I mean, like, I think like most Spurs fans, we, we, we can take a few positives out of the game. Uh, first half, I thought we sat back a bit much, or either that or they were that good that we, we couldn't get too much of the ball. Uh, and, and they got the and they got they got the goal, which was disappointing. I mean, I haven't really had a good look at it to see see how it came about, really. But uh, second half, we came out and started brightly. We took the game to them, right? And then they came back at us. But the last 20 minutes after the introduction of ourselves and the Bella, uh, I don't know if it was fresh legs or what. We took the game to them, and we had we had a few half chances. I mean, I thought Son should have scored from the one that came through the box. There's one another one that flew across the box as well. Only in a touch to tap it in, you know. Yeah, but important games like this, the half chances must go in, mustn't they? Of course, of course they must go. And they're the difference between you doing well in the league or even winning the league, if we can still dream of winning the league sometime, and not doing it. Or And also, uh, of worse, finishing a top four position and like qualifying for the Champions League. So, yes, I agree. I agree entirely. I was uh, surprised with the team that he put out. Um, I didn't think Rose would be playing, I didn't think Tanganga was playing. I, was I don't think anyone did. No, I, was, I was pleased to see Tanganga play, I thought over he did well. Uh, he looked like he got turned when Firmino come through and scored their goal, but I want to see the play before that again and look at it, because I don't want to be harshly critical of Tanganga, because like, for a young lad he is a lump, you know what I mean? And I watched him in the pre-season tournament against, uh, uh, who's it we played, Juventus, uh, uh, when Man United. A, yeah, and he and he had a good game against. He had a good, well, he marked Ronaldo like you know, and he made some good blocks and all that. And for a, for a youngster, he's he's quite a big lad. You know yeah. what I mean? So I hope to see more of him. And and I think I don't know if he got his place or Rose played today because perhaps Sessegnon's had four recent games, and perhaps they thought we'd give him a rest. You know what I mean? Because he hasn't uh, kicked on Sessegnon, although like he's shown promise. You know, so. Adrian, after today's results and after talking to you about the, uh, the, the Tottenham results against the top six teams, we haven't beaten a top six side so far this season. We're in January. Are you confident that Tottenham will finish in a European place, Champions League or Europa League this season? Yeah, yeah there's 17 games to go. We've played a lot of the top six already. All right, we've got to go away to Chelsea. But we're capable of beating Chelsea. We've got Man United to come here, haven't we? You know, and we're capable of beating them. If we, although it looks like we're nine points behind fourth place at the moment, if we beat those teams, yeah. we close the gap. And I, I mean, and I will not give up until it's mathematically impossible for us to do something like because you have to believe. I just think you have to believe. I mean, I'm not one who's going to be negative about these things. I still believe we will do well in the FA Cup. I still think we can win it. And although people may laugh, we're in the Champions League, so we can still win that as well. Why not? Well, we haven't won the FA Cup since 91. We haven't won a League Cup since 2008. The last Cup that we won was in 2008. When will the next Cup come? And surely Jose Mourinho was brought in here to win us a trophy. Well, this isn't Jose's team, is it? Let's be fair. And although I was gutted and I thought the Potts was treated shabbily the way he was let go without him saying goodbye to the players, I actually I thought that was actually disgusting personally. I was a big Potts fan. But you could, uh, he wasn't backed in, in so many transfer windows anyway to change things, which he saw coming. Marino, we don't know what agreement he's had with Levy when he's come to the club, but he hasn't been out to put his authority on this team will really stamp his authority with new sign-ins. So, I'm not going to judge Mourinho until we get to a stage where either in this transfer window, which I hope we do see some action, or in the summer transfer window, when he brings his own players in, which he surely will, then we can judge him. Let's talk about the January transfer window. Do you think that Tottenham will actually spend money this month? Yeah. How much? And well, where? The rumour was... The rumour was there was about £60 million to spend, right? Where, now, where's that rumour come from? Well, it, it was... It was well, it, Because I, people are sick of rumours, aren't they? Yeah, they so are. They we, are. We, we, us as fans, we don't know how much money is available. Mourinho says yesterday in his press conference um, that it's unlikely that players will come in. Uh, we don't want to panic buy. We need to all keep calm. 
Can we keep calm when Tottenham are not in the top I four? I think Marino's just being quiet. If we go back to when Poch was manager, at first he was saying, like, no, we won't be doing, I'm happy with the squad, we won't be doing no dealings in January. And then we and then we come on later on at a later press conferences, he was saying, yes, there is money available. I mean, I think there's, I think there's about 60 mil available, plus any money from outgoings if one yard or there some go. And I'd like to see them gone, so as we, we know where we are with Spurs, you know? was to go, or any players that he does want to go, yep. let's get rid of them, and then we know where we are. Yep. And what happens this January, I've said it I said it months ago to fellow fans, I said, what happens in the January transfer window will set the tone for the rest of the season, right? So, and, and I'd like to think we'd get someone in like Samido, because he's Portuguese, I think that, that transfer room has got legs. He is the one I think, if anyone comes in, I think it would be him, if, if there's only one. But whether Piatek comes in or not, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a fan of, of low players now. I don't want another Loretti type in. We should be, if we're looking to buy, we should be looking to buy for the future a striker who's either going to play alongside Kane or stand in for Kane when he's injured, but be be a younger player, 24, 25 year old, rather than, you know, one of these 29 players that we could go for that have been listed we've seen in Europe now yeah. that are, that are going to leave their club like Dries Martins and you know and players of his ilk that yeah. are like that because uh, because you know you're going to keep them pay their wages you know you're going to get get rid of them and we still haven't progressed we still haven't got a, you want a solid backup okay. you want a player who's going to be here for four or five years mate. Adrian our next game at home is Middlesbrough in the FA Cup third round replay Oh, I, we haven't I, won the FA Cup since 1991. Can we do it this year? Yes, of course we can win it. I mean, we we got middles. Look, we beat Middlesbrough. We got Southampton away. I'm sure Spurs fans remember our. our but we, we struggled were, against Southampton yeah, on New Year's Day. Yeah, we see, we see, yeah. Well, with us, with the cup, it's sort of all or nothing. We either do really well or we're very poor. I mean, like we went then, we were two 0 down, and we won six two when Rocket Ronnie scored that entry. You know, we, we looked dead and buried. But that's what you get with Spurs. It's all part of the white knuckle run, isn't it? It's part of the team. Where realistically do you think Tottenham will finish this season in the fourth. Premier League? Fourth. You're still saying yeah, fourth? Yeah, I, I don't see why We're not. nine points away from Chelsea Look, right now. I looked at this performance today. All right, we lost. We should all be gutted and on the floor. But I wasn't. I see, I see positive signs there. I mean, I like the introduction of Tanganga. I don't know if Rose is back in the fold now or not. He didn't have the greatest game today, I admit. But we looked, we looked a bit more solid today. And, all right, we, we created a few half chances against a top-class team. Let's not forget, Liverpool are a class team. So Absolutely. Like, so I'm, so I'm, I'm positive. If we can carry today forward, we will beat most teams. You know, we will beat most teams. How do you think that we will fare in the Champions League this season? Well, we got Leipzig away, and we at home. Uh, they are supposed to be one of the. Look, I don't take any team for granted in the Champions League. You're not in there because you're right, you, you, you know, an also ran sort of team just there to make up the numbers. So, I mean, I actually think in the Champions League we'll get past Leipzig, and then we'll see where we go. There's only seven games to win. You know, you've got three three leagues at home and away. Yeah. I mean, it only takes seven games to win the FA Cup when the FA Cup actually starts. What, so you're confident that Jose Mourinho would deliver a trophy, might deliver a trophy this season? Yeah, well, why not? Why not? We've got the quality up front to do it. If we can put in solid defensive performances like we did at Dortmund away last, last year, why not? I mean, like, I will always believe until... Look, until we're until top four, until it's mathematically impossible, I'm always going to believe. FA Cup, until we're knocked out, I'm always going to believe. ACL Champions League, I'm always going to believe. Because, like, I wouldn't come here if I didn't believe. Yeah. Last question for you. Was it right for Daniel Levy to sack Maurizio Pochettino and bring Jose Mourinho in? I know at the time... Uh, now that he's gone, as a fan, you have to back the new manager. I wasn't happy about it. I thought he was treated shabbily, Poch. Uh, it always seems to be the way that the tail wags the dog regarding the fact that the players, it's always because the players are probably worth more money on the balance sheet. It's always the players that we were through and the manager always goes. You know, I think Marino suffered the same fate at Man United, actually. 
even though he won him a couple of trophies. You know. But now he's here. I, no, I don't think it was right. But now Marino's here, I will back him. I've warmed to him, his press conferences, because... Don't you think it still seems weird as a Tottenham fan? And I still feel it today. When I looked down and saw Mourinho on the touchline, I thought, what on earth is he doing there? Don't you feel weird? What I was, what it still I no- feels weird. It does feel weird, but what I noticed about him is the guy's got passion. He is a winner because I've seen him on the touchline today and he's fist pumped and punching and he's waving his arms. I don't know if you noticed all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had that with Potts. I mean, he would sit there... Uh, but Potch was passionate, you can't take that away oh, from no. him. Oh no, Potch was passionate, but I mean like his, his press conferences, I mean like, I f- Potch is a young manager, he will go on and win things and I hope yeah. he's a great success wherever he goes, I really do wish him the best, you know, and he'll win trophies, and I think he'll learn from this experience here, I mean, he'll learn, uh, and especially, he'll learn how to conduct press conference a bit better without being like so ambiguous at times in what he's saying and coming out with, because People were interpreted in so many different ways, you know what I mean, and, and it become confusing for fans. You know, weren't really sure. On one press conference, oh, he was saying one thing, the next he was saying another, and it looked like he was chopping and changing. So I don't know if it's a, him, you know, getting to grips with in, English a lot better now yeah. or what. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I wish him all the best, you know. Adrian, lastly. Prediction for Tuesday, Middlesbrough at home in the FA Cup third round replay. What result? Yep. Comfortable 3-0 victory. Love the confidence. Come on, you Spurs.